All right, so what we're going over now is we're going to go over arrays versus collection. And we're not going to have a coding example for this, but I'm just going to talk about some of the differences between them and where you might want to use one and where you might not want to use the other. So arrays, the major advantages for them is that you can have range assignments as we've shown in the last video in this playlist. You can also have string parsing, so you can take a string and then rip it apart by a delimiter and then just store that all in an array. You can actually have, also I never touch on this, a lot more elements in an array than you can have in a collection. And it's also multi-dimensional, so it's a lot easier to work with like different tables in your head or like 3D tables or dimensions after that. The main disadvantages is that one, you need to redim an array. So basically, uh, you have to resize it later, so that requires some extra coding. And the real main disadvantage, though, is that it's a lot harder to take out elements or add elements in that's past the dimension that you already defined. Now, collections, they're a lot better at this. So the main advantage is, is it's really freaking easy to remove or add items, and it's really easy to operate with. But the main disadvantage is, is that uh, you do not have uh, many elements that can fit in there, uh, depending on what kind of memory or what data type you have. So you might be capped out like at 300 or so. I've had that happen to me before. And it's also very single dimensional. Unless you're talking about making a collection of arrays, and that's just really weird. So that really covers everything about arrays and collections today. Later we'll be working with looping examples and how we can do logic between them. Adios, amigos.